I have let this blade get dirty long enough, so today I'm gonna to show you how I go about cleaning it. Hey everybody, welcome back. Jason with Bents Woodworking. On this channel, you're gonna get bi-weekly woodworking related videos. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. With my upcoming move, I'm kind of on a maintenance kick lately. I find myself trying to do maintenance on various things in preparation for moving my shop to another state. This is my table saw blade, and this is a Forest Woodworker 2. It doesn't look like it's gonna see if it'll focus there. Oh well, it doesn't. Anyways, you can tell how dirty it is. And I've kind of specifically been letting this get a little bit dirtier because I knew that I wanted to do a video like this and now it's perfect timing and to be quite honest with you, it just really needs to be done. So today I'm gonna just walk you through the steps that I take uh, for cleaning my table saw blades or track saw blades or any other kind of blade and I'm gonna walk you through and show you all the different materials that I use. You don't really need much for this, right? I don't have any special fancy uh, silicone uh, cases even though that those things are nice. You can actually put a little bit more material in them but basically all I have is this right here which this is just a, I would say a medium to a stiff bristle brush. Then I've obviously got my extremely, extremely filthy blade right here. Now I've got, this is just a lid for a Home Depot bucket. This lid costs $1.76, uh, maybe $1.96. I don't remember exactly, but it's cheap. Home Depot lid. The main solution that I like to use is Simple Green, and not just because I think it's good for blades, but because you can use Simple Green for a lot of things. So it's just a standard household cleaner, and it works really well for a lot of purposes, and it works really well for this. The last thing that I use really just to dry it off is just one of these terry cloth towels, which I have an entire bundle of them. So nothing you see here is very fancy. The very first thing that I'm gonna do is actually pour the Simple Green into this uh, bucket lid. I don't really need a lot because I'm just trying to get it wet. Uh, and so it's gonna sit in that simple green. And so that's honestly just about all I do. Now I'm gonna take my blade and me personally, I like to let it like sit for about five minutes and then I flip it over. I don't even know how necessary that really is. It's just something that I've always done. And then I'll come back and take this brush and I'll start scrubbing away at each one of the teeth. Okay, so this has been sitting for about five minutes on each side, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and take my bristle brush and just start scrubbing it down. Now, for the most part, like, I don't know how well you guys can see that, but this was a very, very dirty blade. And after sitting in that simple green, it's really just starting to come off pretty effortlessly. Um, so let me see if I can show you guys real quick. So this is just me on this initial one. This spot right here uh, is a little rough. So if I ever have spots that like this bristle brush right here is just not getting, then I'll just go and grab uh, a scotch Bright pad. Basically the same pad that I use uh, to clean my table saw, which is a maroon pad. I'll just take that and kind of hit any spots. But look, you can already see right here, I'm going to go and wipe this down. So that's a pretty drastic difference between that and that. And it's pretty effortless. This is again, a very extreme example of a dirty saw blade uh, because this was very, very dirty. Uh, typically I do not like my table saw blades to get that dirty. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean the rest of this side off and the other side, wipe it down and I'll show you the difference at the end. One of the things that I really like about the bucket is that I can sit my saw blade up here on the edge and I can brush just like this straight into the actual bucket lid itself. So as I mentioned a little bit ago, as I'm looking through this, there's still some uh, buildup and stuff on the outsides of the teeth that was not removed by the brush itself. And so that's where I'm going to go ahead and just use a small little cutoff um, from a maroon floor stripping pad. And I'm not applying a ton of pressure. I'm just 
kind of getting that extra gunk off. I'm going, I like to go with the direction of the teeth. And as you can see, it's just taking that stuff off uh, almost instantaneously. And I know what you're asking, why wouldn't you just use that from the get-go? You absolutely could. Uh, I'm just kind of used to using uh, one of these brushes. And if I don't need to take one of these to it, I won't. So I'll just go around and like right here, there's still some left from that brush. A couple of passes with this and it's totally gone. Take a quick look at the backside. Probably just go over it once real fast. This just to get everything nice and even. Maybe get anything that I might have missed with the brush. And other than that, that's about it. Wipe it down with my towel. You can already see just by looking at that, what a huge, huge difference it is from what it was. I'll go ahead and let that dry off for a little bit and should be good to go. Okay, so that's how I go about cleaning my table saw blades. And as you can see, uh, it is not brown and black and disgusting uh, on each one of the teeth. I've got a nice clean blade and this is ready to be thrown back on my table saw and start making cuts. I know that this is a pretty basic, straightforward video, but I just wanted to share it with you guys because maybe you're doing something different. Maybe you're spending a bunch of money on unnecessary materials. And so I just wanted to share the way that I do it. So hopefully you guys found it enjoyable. As I always do everybody, I will leave some affiliate links to the items that I used in this video down below should you wanna find out more information about them and or purchase them for yourself. As always everybody, thank you so much for taking the time to watch these videos. Thank you for your continued support. And for those of you that don't know, I actually started a second YouTube channel called Bents Woodworking and More, which you can access from my current YouTube channel. What you're gonna find there is a lot of the behind the scenes and social media related stuff, camera equipment, etc. Just a lot of things that people ask me on a daily basis and I just don't want to cloud this channel with that content. So if that's something that interests you, definitely go over there, subscribe, check it out, let me know what you guys think. But until next time, get out in the shop, try something new, and I will see you in the next video.